Let's continue with the next part of 4.2, Molecular Shape and its Polarity. Basically, there are three types of repulsive forces. First, between bonding pair and then between lone pairs and then between bonding pair and lone pair. Right, so let's look at the example here. You have bonding pair between this carbon and hydrogen with another bonding pair. So here is the repulsion between bonding pair and bonding pair. Okay, so let's look at another example in this molecule of NH3, there are lone pair and bonding pair repulsion. Okay. So, let's look at the next example for H2O molecule. So, in this case, you have extra here. One lone pair with another one lone pair. So here you have lone pair, lone pair, repulsion. So what are the significance for this repulsion? Okay, so you can see here for the general CH4, the bonding pair is according to the basic shape, which is the angle here is 109.5 degree but then when there are repulsion between this lone pair of electron with this bonding pair so you can see here the angle angle between this bonding of N and hydrogen and with this bond so remember bond angle is always between bond so you can see the angle supposedly it should be 109.5 but then if you have the presence of lone pair here so the bond angle will be shrink this is due to the repulsion so repulsion ini akan menolak bond ini akan jadi semakin kecil so what if you have two lone pair, so you can see here the bond angle between oxygen and hydrogen. Okay, both bond angle are can be kecil. The bond angle here are smaller compared to here 104.5, and here is 107.3 degree. So we can conclude that the order of the repulsion strength are okay so for this example of water molecule there are three type of repulsion exist okay, so you, you can see here a a is stronger compared to b and b is stronger compared to c so a a is between lone pair and lone pair. So you can see here lone pair, lone pair. So B is between lone pair and bonding pair repulsion. And then C here represent the bonding pair and another bonding pair repulsion. So this is the weakest lah. Okay, before this, we already learned the basic shape, which is AB3. Okay, so you already know the number of atom bonded to the central atom is AB3. So, this is how you draw it, AB3. So, the shape here, the geometry is trigonal planar. But what if I substitute one bond with one lone pair? So, 
you will have A as your central, B two bonding pair, and one don't pair here. Okay, so one lone pair, you will have the geometry here will be bent or V shape. We normally call it as V shape. Right, so this is due to the mutual repulsion and between bone pair, bone pair, lone pair and bone pair repulsion. So what happened to the angle here? Bone angle will be less than 120 degree. Okay. What if you have AB4? So AB4, the structure will be tetrahedral. Okay, so for tetrahedral, the structure A, B, 4. So, you substitute 1 with lone pair. So, kamu akan dapat this structure A, B, 1, 2, 3, 1 lone pair. Okay, so this shape is, molecular geometry is, trigonal by pyramidal. So the bone angle here will be less than 109.5 degree. Okay, so remember, there are repulsion between lone pair and bonding pair. So they akan menolak all your bonding pair, jadi semakin Kecil bone angle-nya. Right, so next we look at AB2, E2. Means you have two bonding pair to the central atom and two lone pair. So the structure will be AB2 lone pair Two lone pair. One, two lone pair. So here, remember, there are repulsion between lone pair, lone pair, which is stronger than lone pair with bonding pair. Okay, so your bond angle between here will be less than one hundred and nine point five degree. So the geometry here we call it as band shape. Right, so next we look at the class of AB5 means you have five bonding pair of electron and then no lone pair. The arrangement of the electron pair and the molecular geometry will be trigonal by pyramidal. What if we substitute with one lone pair? So your structure will be four bonding pair and one lone pair. Okay, so you will get the geometry as this. A, central atom. Okay, so write the bonding pair first. And you need to substitute one of the bonding pair with lone pair. So the ref of them remain as bond pair. Okay, so this is your structure and this is your lone pair. So you will have the geometry of seesaw. Okay, you can in rotate the structure and you can see it is in form of seesaw. Okay, next, AB3, E2 means you have three bonding and two lone pair, which means you will get the geometry of T-shape. So, how is this possible? 
So A central atom B1 2 as far as possible and you have 2 lone pair. So 2 lone pair it will prefer the planar. And one more bond here. So you will have 2 lone pair 1 2. And then there you go the T shape. Okay, remember the bond angle here will be less than 90 degree. Okay, due to the repulsion. Right, so next we have AB2E3 means you have two bonding pair but then you have three lone pair. How is this structure? So the molecular geometry is you have central atom A so your bonding will arrange as far as possible. You have three lone pair, one pair, two pair and three pair. So imagine this in 3D. Have one, two and three. Okay. So your structure is geometry linear. Angle will be 180 degree. Okay, so the last class is AB6, which is you will get the geometry of octahedral. What if we have five bonding pair and one lone pair? So you will have geometry of square pyramidal. Means you substitute one of the bond with here. One lone pair. Okay. So why we call it a square? Because the base here is in square. Alright, so next, what if we have class of AB4, E2? The number of bonded atom to central atom is 4. And then you will have 2 lone pair. So in this case, we change The bonding pair, instead of having bonding pair above and below, we substitute with lone pair. So the rest of bonding, we just write as in planar. Okay, so the geometry here will be square planar. So you have two lone pair here. Right, so this is the summary. Okay, what are the significant from what we already learned previously? So we will use that knowledge to predict the molecular geometry of a molecule. So first thing, you need to draw the correct Lewis structure of the molecule. Next, double check and count the number of lone pair on the central atom and the number of atom bonded to the central atom. Okay, only focus on the central atom. Next, use the vesper that you already learned before this to predict the geometry of the molecule. So, this Vesper is the class lah. So for example, A, B, 3 or A, B, A, B, 2, E with lone pair and so on. Alright, so let's try this example. What are the molecule geometry? Okay, so sorry, what is the molecular geometry for CH4? So you have, so you have here CH4, C with 4 electron, valence electron, hydrogen, 1 valence electron each and you have 4 hydrogen. 
So the total is 8 valence electron. So your Lewis structure will be CH4. Okay. So first you need to make sure you have the correct Lewis structure. Next, count the number of lone pair and bond pair. So to the central atom, central atom here is carbon. Okay, so how many bonding pair of electron you have here? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so how many lone pair? 0. So the classes here will be A, B, 4. So for A, B, 4, Vesper A, B, 4, the geometry is, we already learned before this, it is tetrahedral. So remember, if there are no lone pair, means it is basic shape. So for NH3, N5H, 1 times 3, total 8 valence electron. And then, so you draw out the Lewis structure first. And H3, okay, so minus 6 bonding. And then balance 2 electron will be the lone pair. Next, calculate the bonding pair of electron there are three pair and lone pair one lone pair okay so from here so from here uh, you already got the correct Lewis structure Next, to determine the molecular geometry. So, this will be class, right class, and then electron arrangement, electron arrangement. Or dia punya basic shape. Basic shape. And next, you determine the molecular geometry. And then the last one, you determine the bond angle. Alright, so for this molecule and history, you have three bonding pair and one lone pair. So it will be class A, B, 3, E. So the arrangement or the basic shape is actually from tetrahedral. Okay, because originally, if you go to basic shape, it is from AB4. But you substitute one of the bonding with this lone pair. So you have here one lone pair. Right? Next, the geometry. When you have AB3E, it's supposed to be So it is trigonal pyramidal. Okay, so you draw out the structure and you have lone pair one, two, and three.
okay you can also write in the this representation okay to show that it is in 3d so means one pointing towards you okay and one more on the plane and one more bond is behind okay so it shows that this is the 3d representation okay so now the bond angle here will be between bonding pair the bond angle will be less than 109.5 degree so just rewrite here less than 109.5 degree okay so why i i suggest you to draw this representation of the molecular geometry drawing because it will help you in the next chapter 4.3 so 4.3 is all about hybridization okay next what is the molecular geometry of sf4 so sf4 sulfur tetrafluoride s six valence electron f Seven and you have four times four, so the total will be thirty-four. <coughs> so draw out the Lewis structure S F one two three four. Okay, so the Lewis structure as long as you got the correct Lewis structure, so minus eight for the bonding pair and then you have 34 minus 8 26 26 electron so distribute equally 1 2 3 4 5 6 12 Right, so minus all the lone pair on the terminal atom, you will minus 24 electron. The balance here should be 2 electron. So this 2 electron will be the lone pair here. Okay, so I highlight the lone pair. Right, so for geometry of this molecular shape is supposed to be okay so the molecular geometry right so just write the class and then the electron arrangement in space or the basic shape we always refer to basic shape here and then you can determine the molecular geometry and last you can determine the bond angle between the bonding pair right for this structure you have bonding pair of electron you have four and you have one lone pair right so the class will be a b for e for the basic shape actually it will adapt from a b5 so a b5 is Trigonal by pyramidal. Okay, so when you have one lone pair here, okay, with this class of compound here, sorry, for this class of Vesper, AB4E, 
So the molecular geometry here should be C so or distorted tetrahedron. Okay, so let's try to draw it. So you have S one two three four bonding pair and one lone pair here okay so don't forget the lone pair on the terminal atom okay there you go the geometry of sf4 with lone pair here Okay, so you can see the lone pair will be positioned itself as far as possible from the others of electron pair. Therefore, here bond angle between the bond will be the bond angle will be less than ninety degree so the bond angle here you just write less than 90 degree right so what if the molecule has multiple bonds so multiple bond for example double bond double bond or triple bond one two three double bond and triple bond okay so you just assume they exist as ataupun has the same effect as single bond so kamu akan anggap dia sebagai satu sahaja one single bond therefore a double or triple bond always counted as one bonding pair. So, kalau nak kira dia punya bonding pair, double bond, kira sebagai satu. Triple bond, also count as satu, one. When we want to predict the shape of the molecule or ion. Okay, so rule number one, you need to remember the valence electron pair surrounding the central atom will always repel one another. Thus, the bonding pair of the electron will arrange themselves as far as possible. Okay, so next, the order of repulsion strength. Okay, ini pun kita dah cover. Lone pair, lone pair will have the strongest repulsion followed by lone pair with bonding pair. And then the last one is bonding pair with another bonding pair. Alright, so rule number three. A double bond and triple bond is counted as single bond. So, let's try with CO2. So, CO2, you will have the structure as C double bond O, double bond O, double bond O. Okay, so by following the correct order to write the Lewis structure, you will come to this structure. And how many bonding pair are they? So, kita kira double bond sebagai satu. Satu, dua. Okay, so you can see here if I use highlight. Satu. We count it as one and two. Therefore, you have two bonding pair. Okay, kita abaikan the pi bond here actually. Lone pair of electron ada tak? Tak ada. So, the classes of compound will be A, B, 2. So, for A, B, 2, the geometry is 
linear. Okay, just as simple as that lah. Remember, if you have double bond or triple bond, you will consider it as single bond. Okay. So, let's try to look at this past year question. Predict the molecular geometry. Try this question. Fluorine and chlorine are the element from group 17 while boron is an element from group 13. Boron react with fluorine to form BF3 compound and chlorine react with fluorine to form ClF3 compound. Compare the bond angle for each and X. So, let's look at the suggested answer. Okay, so we want to compare the bond angle. So, first thing first, you need to write the correct Lewis structure. So, remember boron, it is in group 13. So, it is considered as incomplete octet. So, it can exist as BF3. Okay. So, your Lewis structure is as follows here, B, F, 1, 2, 3. So, the molecular geometry here will be trigonal planar and the bond angle for each will be 120 degree because the bonding pair will arrange themselves as far as possible. Okay, so the bond angle between here is equal to B and F because there are no lone pair. So, maksudnya tiada factor repulsion. Look at the second example, CLF3. So, when you draw the Lewis structure, make sure you calculate and follow step by step to deduce the correct Lewis structure. Okay, so you will come to this structure of CLF3. Okay, so you can see here you have 1, 2, 3 bonding pair and you have here at the central atom here, yeah, focus central atom, 1 lone pair, 2 lone pair. So, means here are the factor repulsion between lone pair, lone pair, lone pair, bonding pair and bonding pair sesama bonding pair. So, the molecular geometry here is T-shape. Okay, walaupun dia tidak perfect T-shape, but we categorizekan dia as T-shape. So, the bond angle here will be less than 90 degree for each bond lah. Here also. In CLF3, there are two lone pair. Therefore, the repulsion between lone pair lone pair repulsion is greater compared to the lone pair and bonding pair and bond pair with another bond pair. Therefore, as the result, the angle between CL and the central is less than 90 degree. Alright, so that's all for molecular shape. Next, we will continue with polarity. Thank you.